In this recording, we're going to introduce you to the Art History Brush, which is right here, and the History Brush tool, as well as the History Panel over here, and some of the filters in the Filter Gallery. So let's start with the Art History Brush. That's the one with the little curly cue through it. And basically, this brush does some really strange stuff things. So we're going to start loose and long and we'll take the area up pretty big and I'll, I'll start painting. So as I, as I paint you can see what's happening. Now if I go loose and medium it's, it's not quite as long of strokes. Let's uh, let's try tight and long. You see how that's kind of bringing back in detail as as I paint in certain areas. Let's go let's go tight and medium. And then I'm going to reduce this area down and we'll try it again. And let's go tight and short and take the area quite a ways down. So where I want to bring back in detail, I can I can do that. Uh, take the area down to one pixel. All right, so now if we want we can use the history brush. The history brush is just right here and it works in conjunction with the history panel. So I can click any step in the in the history panel that I've made, any any stage and move back. So this is the op this is when I actually opened the uh, picture itself. And so I'm going to take the opacity of this and the flow down quite a little ways and I'll show you what it does. So when I start painting, it's painting back in painting back in time to that state in the history panel. So if I want to clean up an edge or two, you can see what happens there. So that's the history brush. Very powerful tool and um, so you can you can brush back in time to any point in history. The filters allow you to do some dis different artistic effects and things along that line. So let's say I want to uh, do some dry brush or something along that line. Uh, I'll click OK. And then if I want to use my history brush still, I can come back in and, and pull that in. So that is the history panel, the art history brush, the history brush, and a quick look at the filter gallery, which we'll look at more later on.